What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabar Toy where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna show you how to make waterproof matches. All you're gonna need is striker river matches and nail polish. Let's get to it. So any kind of nail polish you see, mine is pretty cheap, 350 and what you're gonna do is grab matches and this is strike anywhere matches and you wanna coat it with nail polish. Like all around. And this is the wax paper, I put it so they don't stick to it or easy to take it off. And I'm gonna do it to a few of them. As you can see, nothing special, just grab a nail polish and put it on the match. If you want, you can even dip the match into a nail, nail polish, just like that. And just set it down. And then you wanna leave it and wait till they're gonna dry out and then you can do the other side. And you wanna wait for a few hours till that dries off and then we're gonna check it out and try it and see if it works. So as you can see it dried off and it, this is strike anywhere matches and you see the nail polish all over the match and it should strike anyways. Let's test it if it's gonna strike. Yeah, and it works. So now let's try it in the water. So we're gonna drop all these matches in the water and make them really, really damp. And now we're gonna test them out because this is a waterproof matches. Okay, you see they've been soaking for a little bit. Now let's take one out. What you wanna do is grab a shot or something and dry off the match. Just slowly kinda shake off all the water so there is no moisture and let's strike it and you see it slide up even though this match was in the water and it burns pretty great too let's try another one take it off wipe off all the water as, as much as possible let's strike it boom Two in a row, working pretty well. How amazing is that? Underwater matches, or like waterproof matches. And today we're going to make a rocket stove with the help of drill. Let's check this out. So I got my paddle drill over here. I'm gonna stand it up right here and drill it. Leave it. Drill it right in the middle. Let's give it a break, dump it all out. You see we're getting a decent hole inside of it and we want to keep going much deeper. Like this. Whoa, you see be careful, don't injure yourself. Oh no, that's not supposed to happen. So as you can see, it's pretty deep hole over there. It's gonna end somewhere over here. So now we're gonna drill it another hole over here and try to match it up with the, this hole. One way to measure it, stick it all the way, hold it right here, take it out, and that's about w where it's end. So we're gonna cut it to right here. So check this out, if I'm gonna put the camera into the hole, you see this is where the other hole sun is going through. Next we're gonna put little fire starter in there and bunch of twigs and that's it, rocket stove from a log. So next I got this little fire starter tablet, I'm gonna take one of them, they're pretty cheap. So I'm going to open it up, got a match and start it up. Now 
Now I'm gonna stick it in there and actually push it too deeper. It's burning pretty well now. And push it all the way down there. Now if you look inside, you see there's a fire going through already. Look how awesome it is. Now I'm just gonna put a bunch of little twigs in there. Not too many. Because you don't wanna plug this hole. You see oxygen coming over here, all the smokes comes out of from over here. We're gonna let it burn for a while, get it going, and then we're gonna put a stove pot on top of it so we can cook on it easily. So now let's see what happens if I blow over here. You see fire comes out from here. Pretty awesome, huh? Really, really cool stuff. I love that. Here you go, finally got it going. All the oxygen coming from over here and all the fire coming from the top. And now all it is is the log burning from the inside. Pretty amazing, huh? As you can see, it's burning really well right now. So what we can do is just put a couple of rocks on each side. Try to find the flat rocks so they don't fall off. And now we can just put a pot on top of it. And boom, we can cook easily. You see how this rocket stove works? Pretty awesome, huh? And today I'm gonna show you how to make ultimate survival storm matches. So what I'm gonna need is grab a long match like that and a slice of a paper towel. Then I'm gonna put my match over the paper towel and then grab it like that and start rolling it up as tight as I can. And of course you want to do it close to the head. Right here I made a little plate for wax and now I'm just gonna grab melted wax and pour it on top of my match. I want to soak it in. So. Put it like, like that and soak it in with the wax. So once I did that, I want to just spin it around and get all that wax as much as I can into my, into my paper towel and the front of my match. So I'm going to keep spinning it till it's just going to get uh, dried off. Now I'm going to let it sit and wait till it dries off and we'll see how it's going to work. So wax protecting much from water because it's waterproof now and to start the match again before you're gonna start it you wanna scrape off all that wax where you wanna strike first. So I scraped off all the wax and now I'm gonna start it and let's see what happens. Let's get the paper on fire real quick, hold it down. Now if you cannot start the fire with that I don't know what gonna help you. So let's see if it's windy. You see it's still on fire. So this is like a Leo fire log, look. If it's windy it doesn't go off. It's still burning really well. So we can assume you can start a fire really easy with that. So make sure be safe with that, don't play with fire kids. So if you doomsday prepper, this is one of the coolest ways to build matches like that. So you can start the fire in any condition, amazing. So if you cannot start the fire with that, I don't know what else you can do. How to open a can, like this just hands, using only your hands, you cannot use any. So what I wanna do is grab it like this and squeeze it in the middle and like screw keep squeezing it like to the corners as much as you can as you can see it's like just like this maybe just hold it with one hand and push it with your thumb as much as you can and once you got it like that what you want to do put your hand like right here and like here and Squeeze it, push it in as much as you can. As you can see, we're gonna get this 
breaking points right here. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit more. See if I can as much as you can. So it's gonna look like this, you see it? This is the easiest breaking points. What we're gonna do, turn it over and do the same. Maybe put it like that in your hand, lock it in and push your finger into it. As much as you can. So, now we're just gonna push it together, wow, just like that. there it comes. And then turn it over Whoa. and do the same thing here. Kind of squirting me a little bit. <laughs> 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 That's what she said. Oh ho, ho. Then we're gonna turn it over and do the same. Boom. <laughs> then turn it over and do the same. To the point <laughs> where you're just gonna be able to do it. What do you got in your shirt there? For you. But <laughs> what kind of can is that? I don't <laughs> even know. Maybe like diced tomatoes? Oh man, this is nasty. Oh oh is that spinach? Uh, there, this is spinach. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I'm gonna prove it to you guys that you can open it. You're proving it. Oh, I just got smart in with spin uh, spinach juice. <laughs> Look at my glasses. <laughs> hey. Dude, the camera is soaked. But if you need to survive and open it, I'm oh, gonna man. show you that it's possible. Let's wipe off that camera. Let's do it. Come on. Dude, you think it's the first time? That camera has been soaked. Oh yeah, I'm sure it has. Film it? That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> so of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Here, let's get a close up on that. You want to continue on this thing, just <laughs> <laughs> up and down. Well, I think the best if you get the can without this kind of juice, but you want to keep squishing it like that, up and down. And as you can see, the metal is breaking. <laughs> then you want to do this kind of motion. And guess what? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Oh, I just that. open. Hold on, let's get a, let's see that. And I just open <laughs> oh, that a looks, can of that, spinach. That looks delicious. <laughs> Look yeah, but I don't care how dirty I am. In a survival situation, I probably will be dirty anyways. Eat some of that. And. I don't like spinach like that. Uh, I don't think I will survive this spinach. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a shelter tarp the easiest way. Let's check this out. Tie this up on one side and tie this up on the other side of the tree. Something like that. Just like this. Once you set up your rope between two trees, what you want to do is make a loop like this and put it through the stop. And then you all you have to do is just put it through the stick. Just like that. You see the top does not fall off. But why it's awesome, if you want to readjust, you see it slides. So you don't have to worry about making a knot and making sure the type is tight. This is the easiest way. Same thing I'm going to do over here. Make a loop, put it to the top and stick a stick to it. Now all you have to do is grab a top and pull the top and stick will spin, you see it? And that way it will stretch out. Boom, you see the top have stretched out. You see how it's loose right now? And if I pull it on this side, you see, boom, the top is tight. Nice, now we can work on the bottom. In the back, you gotta put the stick to this hole and just stretch it out all the way back the top and just stick it into the dirt, just like that. Just like that on that side, and we set up the top. Now we can sleep over here and not being under the rain. Here you go, this is the easiest method to set up the top with stick and power cord.